In this video, we're going to show you how we used AI to trade credit spreads and how it took our win rate from a 56% win rate with a negative 8% average return to a 93% win rate with an average return on our trades of 22%. Let's dive in. All right, so let's dive in here. So um, we're going to be covering a bunch of stuff on credit spreads here, and we're going to be using this platform called Trade Machine, which essentially is our kind of AI-powered option trade finder. Um, if you don't have it, and you want to give it a try, which we highly recommend all the time. Um, we'll put a link somewhere near this video in the description or something uh, where you can go to their page and get a trial for nine bucks. Really worth it. They give you daily trade ideas. Um, really, really powerful option. Back tester, which we're going to use. And they got a bunch of pre-built strategies, which we're also going to dive into. Um, but basically in this video, we're going to show you how we took this one credit spread strategy, specifically a put credit spread, took it from a 54% win rate, with an average trade of negative 8.92% and took that to 93% win rate with an average trade of 22.69%. So really, really cool stuff. But let's do a quick primer on what a credit spread is, right? So basically, people love the idea of credit spreads because you get paid to place the trade. Um, the most popular version of this before you get into credit spreads is selling puts, right? People tend to be really interested in selling puts because you get paid right off the bat um, to place the trade. It's a bullish strategy. Um, so if the stock goes up, you're probably going to profit. And the biggest selling factor is it's a really high win rate, right? So if you're doing the you know selling put strategy, right, you got a really, really high win rate. The problem is it's got huge risk, massive risk, right? You can win 50 trades in a row, but one bad loss can wipe out all your profit. Right, so here's kind of your little profit graph. So, um, you know, usually you'll pick a strike price you want to sell the put at. If the uh, stock price is above it, um, when it expires, great, you profit. You basically get your money. Um, so let's say you place the trade and you get, let's say, a hundred bucks to place that trade. If the stock is above your strike price after expiration, you get to keep your hundred bucks. Um, if not your loss could be massive, right? You can get $100 to place a trade, but you can be in the hole for thousands of dollars if you screw this up. Now, credit spreads um, are along the same lines, but basically what you're doing is you're hedging yourself by buying um, an option at the same time. So specifically, and the one we're gonna focus on today is a short put spread, which is also called a put credit spread. So what is that? That means you're basically selling one put and you're buying another and you're still getting paid to place that trade. Also still a bullish strategy. You'll win if the stock goes up, still a high win rate, but the difference is we're reducing our risk compared to selling puts since we're also buying a put as well. So this is kind of what your payoff graph looks like. So same kind of idea here, except all we're doing is we're hedging our risk on the downside, which is why you should do it this way and never just sell a straight up put just because the risk is massive here. This is the one we're going to uh, dive into with some examples with AI. The other one, um, when it comes to credit spreads, is a short call spread, also known as a call credit spread. So you're selling one call, buying another. You're still getting paid to place that trade, but this one's a bearish strategy. So you win if the stock goes down, and it still has a high win rate for you, right? So same kind of idea here where let's say you sell um, you know, a call spread at a certain strike price, if the stock is below that at expiration, you basically get to keep your money. If not, you have a certain amount of downside. But also notice in both of these, your downside risk is much higher than kind of your profit here, right? So you can kind of see how this is thin, this is big. That's kind of the flip side of any time you're playing in credit spread land because the, let's say, the attractiveness of this strategy is you're getting paid to place the trade, but your downside is always relatively big, but... When you're doing it as a spread versus straight up selling a put, at least your risk is minimized. So let's dive into um, specifically a short put spread, also known as a put credit spread, since this is a bullish strategy and that's the market we're in right now. So we're gonna go to Trade Machine and we're gonna go to the back test tab. And what we wanna do is we wanna pull in a couple things here. So let's do a portfolio. We're gonna do the NASDAQ 100 here. We're gonna go to put spread. We wanna short it. And then let's do a three-year time period here. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to load in all the stocks in the NASDAQ 100 over the last three years running this specific strategy of selling a put spread. So we're specifically shorting the 50 delta puts and going along with the 20 delta puts, 
You don't need to know what that means for now, but that's basically the play. Um, let's make this 30 days to expiration here. So this is going to load all the socks in the NASDAQ 100. Um, it's going to tell you what your total return would have been, your um, return percentage, your win rate, the average trade, the whole nine yards. Um, and we're going to figure out, okay, how did that actually work if we wanted to play the um, selling put spreads game, which is a put credit spread, uh, over the last three years? And it's going to give us all that data. So there's not many platforms that can backtest options, stuff like this, which is why we like Trading Machine a lot. So again, well worth it for the $9 to try it out for nine days. And we're going to show you how you can get alerts from this as well. That's really the most powerful part, in our opinion. Um, but give this another second. This is loading. It's pulling in, you know, 100 different tickers here. So it always takes a little bit of time. Um, and then it'll give us a nice summary right here at the top when it's done. That'll show us basically the cumulative results of this whole strategy, which is this. So... If you had done this specific strategy, which in this case is a put credit spread over the last three years for the NASDAQ 100, you would have had a win rate of 60%, but with an average trade of negative 0.538. That's, that's not great, right? So we want to clean that up. And specifically what we're going to do is we're going to use one of Trade Machine's AI-powered strategies um, because these guys have like this proprietary AI algo that's built into Trade Machine right now. I know the co-founders are trying to potentially make a um, hedge fund around this AI algo, but they built it and they needed a place to put it. And right now it's kind of in Trade Machine, but it's low key buried in here and most people don't know about it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do the buy, this buy the sell off strategy, right? So this is gonna bring in their proprietary AI and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're also going to go to do a put spread. We're going to short it like we did before. We're going to go to portfolios last three years. And we're basically going to rerun what we did before, um, with the same kind of thing. Actually, let me do one little tweak here. Let's do put credit spread since I have this pre-built. Um, it's going to rerun the same thing with a put credit spread. But this time we're going to use Trade Machine's AI to only give us trades when certain triggers and qualifications are met to basically trigger a trade that has been statistically proven by the co-founders of Trade Machine to have an edge when it comes to options trading. So we're going to give this a second. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to pull in all the companies from the NASDAQ 100, um, and it's going to tell us what our results would have been if we had done this. So let's give this a second here. Going to do the exact same thing. Okay, so here's our results. Now, if we had turned on their AI, we would have had a 76% win rate with an average trade of 7.81%. So right there, you can see a difference right off the bat. Now, remember, we're coming from something that was a 56.8% win rate with an average trade of negative 0.8 or negative 8.12, right? So right off the bat, we've improved, but now let's take it to another level. And this is the really cool part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sort by average trade and we're gonna check off all these ones here that have been proven to win. Because as you can see, if we scroll down, it doesn't work for all of them and some it just hasn't happened for. So we just want the good ones, right? We wanna get all the ones in here that have won and have been proven to win, right? So you can check off all these and then basically rerun this with just the ones or the tickers that it's worked for. So I have that pre-built in over here. So we're gonna rerun this with just the good ones. And now watch the results. This is where it gets really, really cool. So this is rerunning right now with a selection of those stocks from the existing one. So now all of a sudden, again, we went from a 56.89% win rate with an average trade of negative 8.12 to whoops, a 93.22% win rate with an average trade of 22.69%. That's how Trade Machine gets really, really powerful. And again, what we can do here, since we know this has been proven to work, what we can do is, again, just go through, select all these. I'm not going to do it right now, but we can go through, select all these trades, then go to your Add Alert. And then if we hit Add Alert right here, we'll get an email anytime any of this gets triggered. Um, 
when something sets up with this, right? Because again, it's powered by trade machines, proprietary AI. Um, and clearly you can see the results are pretty massive, right? So again, if you want to give trade machine a shot to kind of get access to some of this stuff, or if you're starting to play around with credit spreads, highly recommend getting the $9 trial trade machine. Um, we'll put a link somewhere near this video, either a button or in the description of it. Um, give it a shot. Well, well worth it. And there's a lot more you can do here. So that's what we have for you today, and we'll see you in the next video.